Sunday, July 30th, 2023, the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time. A man discovers a treasure in the field he is working by sheer accident. He hides it again, goes to sell everything he has, and buys that field. The poor farmer, attracted by the unmistakable sparkle of a golden object that has emerged from the ground, immediately intuited that an immense wealth could be hidden under the clods. He did not want to lose even a bit, so he decided to buy the whole field. The treasure which Jesus speaks about is the kingdom of heaven, the new experience into which one who welcomes the proposals of the Beatitudes enters. It has an incalculable value and is only gradually discovered by one who decides to wager one's life on it. One is not asked to give up something, but to give up everything. The fact that this treasure is found by chance indicates its gratuity. God offers it freely to people. It is not a prize for their good works. The discovery of the kingdom of God involves a radical change. This is the meaning of the decision to sell everything one has to buy the field. This is what happened to Paul. He says, But once I found Christ, I have let everything fall away, and I now consider all as garbage, if instead I may gain Christ. The second parable differs in some significant details. Unlike the farmer who accidentally stumbles upon a treasure, the merchant finds the pearl after an exhausting search. The two discoveries are results, one of a good fortune, the other of one's commitment. The behavior of the merchant is the image of the person who passionately seeks what gives meaning to one's life and fills one's days with joy. The two parables complement each other. The kingdom of God on one hand is a free gift of God, and on the other, the kingdom is a fruit of human diligence. The third parable is taken from fishing on the Sea of Galilee. In the nets and trawls, fishermen often caught good fish, but also inedible or unclean ones. On the beach, they separated the catch. Thus, Jesus says, it will happen in the kingdom of heaven. In this net, not only the good and the capable are welcomed, but everyone, without distinction. The kingdom of God does not present itself today in a pure state. Within the Christian community, the presence of evil and sin is serenely accepted along with that of the good. No one, though impure, must feel left out or marginalized. This is the time of the mercy and of the patience of God, who does not want anyone to perish, but that all may come to conversion. Of course, this time of separation will come. In the end, the separation will not be between good and bad people, but between good and evil. Only the good will enter into heaven. All the negativity will be annihilated first, annihilated by the fire of God's love.